Hi boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton on board this Galleon Gallia 570 for a look around in glorious 3D virtual reality. So what does that mean? That means that you should be able to click and drag your screen or touch and drag your screen to look up, down, left or right whenever you like. So as you follow me around the boat you can look at what you like whenever you like. And we hope this really neat feature will help you to enable you to feel what the space is like and if it might work for you. So let's have a look around shall we so let's start here we as you can see we're in the cockpit we've got a lovely great big enclosure here i would say that it does need a few repairs here and there and it needs a bit of valeting a bit of green here and there but it does give you a feeling of another room lots of space lots of light we've got big windows we've got good visibility for the for the helm as well and also it gives us that bit of insulation from the weather so we've got the extra room for entertaining or sitting and eating in uh, and also it would have the effect um, hopefully of keeping the interior a little bit warmer too because the weather doesn't quite get to the companion way so yeah really good in here and actually for a boat of this size we've got lots of space around as well we've got we've got two seats here one for the helm one for his best friend we've got the seats at the back one port one starboard and we've also got a seat pad where one or two, two more people could perch there um, if they wish and you could take that seat pad off and I'm sure we would have a, a nice um, table there in fact I'm, I'll move the camera and as I move the camera everybody just to, just to be aware that the, the movement of the camera can sometimes make people feel a little bit funny so if you hear me say I'm about to move the camera and you think you might be sensitive just avert your eyes slightly and then when you know the camera's back down you can come back to us and hopefully we'll be fine but uh, let's hope we don't have any problems like that um, so if I take this seat pad away I've got a nice flat surface there for your uh, for your picnic blanket and your cucumber sandwiches and then if I just lift the lid I'll just uh, quickly undo the cockpit enclosure here we lift the lid to find the rather nice big powerful uh, mercury diesel engine under there should be lots of fun has just been refitted in March of 2019 uh, so should be go good to go for the summer We've got space for stuff on the outboard sides as well, plenty of room, good access to the sides and the front of the engine as well. So um, a good prospect for a bit of fun on those water skis, um, possibly the uh, the donuts there, all good. So let's get her all zipped up again, keep ourselves warm. What else have we got in the cockpit then? Well, we've got rod holder and a rod holder here. We've got stowages outboard. I look a bit like an air steward now don't I um, beneath the cockpit sole here we've got a nice big locker for fenders and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces and there's also access there to what looks like a stainless steel fuel tank as well so all rather good um, moving forwards as we can see we've got the two seats I just mentioned we've got the the helm controls so starting from the starboard side We've got the single throttle with the, with the tilt and trim controls. We've got the fist finder underneath the cover here. We have a compass and we've got the engine instrumentation here consisting of speed, engine revs, engine temperature, battery voltage, engine um, oil pressure and trim indication. And we've got a small smattering of electrical equipment here as well as the Viper wheel. Again, plenty of room, good visibility all around apart from the, the immediate sides here but not too much of a problem, problem to stand up and have a look around. So yeah, should be a good place to steer from and I'd be quite happy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera now and I'm going to pop us downstairs into the forward accommodation. Let's go and have a look. And I'll put you down there on the port side. And I'll sit on the starboard off side and I'm going to recline, recline comfortably because I feel like it. Um, down here, um, she's compact, she's bijou. The, um, the upholstery looks fine. We've got a nice white headlining here, or it's actually the moulding, and nice white sides and the, the forward bulkhead there and the aft. Um, feels nice and bright and airy down here, helped out by the hatch there and the great big companion way, which is fitted with a nice Perspex uh, companion way door there. So that slides out the way neatly and tidily, but you always get a bit of light through. And uh, yeah, comfortable enough down here for two to stay for a weekend. Um, we have the infill here which is still wrapped up and the piece of wood that slots in here to make this into a nice big double bed no problem at all we've got a shelf outboard port and starboard for those little bits and pieces but otherwise a decent place to stay for the weekend a decent place to bring the kids or the family for a weekend 
and have a bit of fun I think so yeah I would say if you, we need to look past the clutter down here and she does need um, a good clean throughout so good a bit of, probably a weekend's worth of elbow grease just to get away the, the surface uh, um, dust etc and bring her back to what she should be but other than that she's a very nice boat and uh, she's had that money spent on the infrastructure the engineering and the uh, the underwater side of the boat too so really nice so let's take the camera and pop you back upstairs if you'd just like to follow me and i'll stick you on top of the steering wheel this time or the helm as we're supposed to call them and there we go and i'll have a seat over here and sum up so here we have this um Galleon Gallia 570 for sale with boats of Brighton, recently replaced into the water after a couple of months out of the water, um, put back in in March 2019 with her engine redone, the stern drive redone and the underside nice and anti-fouled ready for the new season. She'll sleep too happily, there's a good uh, double bed set up down there, we've got seating for four plus up here and I think she'd be good for some really nice fun over the summer. If you'd like any more information, just go to birchedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. We hope this video has given you a really good idea as to how this boat feels to be on board. And if you'd like any more information, just go to birchedbrighton.com. You'll find all of our details there. Don't hesitate to get in touch and enjoy the rest of your day.